Jesus, fuck. I don't think that could have taken any longer if it tried. Well, maybe it's just my perception of time. Time, after all, is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch count down to the end of the day. The clock takes like the way. It's so unreal. Didn't look down below. Watch time flow right out the window. Trying to hold on to it. Didn't even know I wasted it all to watch you go. I kept everything inside. And though I tried it all fell apart, what eventually, eventually will be a memory of a time you tried so hard. I think I fucked up somewhere. Somewhere at the end. I tried getting ahead of myself before the game. Before the game came on. But, eh, whatever. Rocket to punch! Bearing malevolence, malevolence, whatever. Malevolence, malevolence. I don't. <laughs> what are words? <laughs> Damn, so close. There we go, everyone's ready. I don't really need this, but fuck it, I wanted to do it anyways. Alright, it's party time. Uh, I don't remember how all your skills work, because this is the actual first time I'm using you. Move defensive buffs. Alright, so I definitely want to activate this first. Uh, what other skills do you have? You can crit star each turn. Increase defense for yourself. And this is just overload. Increase. Okay. All right, rock and roll. And now the finisher. Farewell. Actually, maybe if I'm... Nah, I'll probably take her off when we fight Inferno. I was going to say, maybe by the end of this uh, section, Salter will be Bond 10. This must have been a scouting party. Sakon, tell Lord Matsuderia that we must hurry and deploy archers. The castle's defenses can make do with a bare minimum of soldiers. Concentrate our forces on the southern region and stop by earthbound and stop any earthbound monsters dead. Do not let even a single rat through your ranks. Position 400 of our men at the front line. Each one has proven his skill in Shim in Shimabara. They should be able to hold their own against these monsters. Understood. I shall ride to Lord Matsudaria at once. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Wow. 
It seems their minds are on the battlefield at all times. They must have been planning their next orders, even while you were fighting, Master. The samurai are moving around so quickly. Oh, where are they go where are they going with the horses? I wonder where they're going. Is the parade over? Goo ga ga. I guess they're all off to their duties. Impressive how they kept cool while they let us do all the fighting. I must say, their confidence is amazing. Perhaps a truly skilled samurai knows he has nothing to fear from monsters, demonic beasts, or ghosts. Especially if he carries a katana that grows closer to a mystic as they age. I bet they've got that part that part pretty well covered. Right, Tajima? Who do you think you're talking to? The Shogunite rules this country completely. Of course, they are prepared to deal with monsters and the like. However, I will say that this is highly unusual for monsters to band together like this. That's because they're not just wandering around aimlessly. There's someone leading them. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see them come at us with even greater numbers next time. Your experienced sword master. Oh, ho. Oh. It sounds like you know more than you've let on. Perhaps you are the masterminds behind this attack. No. I suppose that is out of the question. Nonetheless, time is of the essence. Tell me everything you know. Here's everything we know! I see. So these heroic spirit swordmasters are the disgraced remains of dead souls. Ordinarily I would cut you down for spouting nonsense, but it would seem that things here in Shimosa are no longer so simple. Based on your account, this Archer of Inferno woman is the leader of these monster attacks. Yeah, I think so. I'm not entirely certain. That said, she did attack us yesterday evening, so the timing makes sense if the trouble in the south started last night. But if she is responsible for that, then something doesn't add up. I might just be imagining things, but... Uh... Oh yeah, she had to leave. One cannot expect a dead soul to act with integrity. It is no surprise that this one may have gone mad. Wow, you're a dick. He certainly doesn't mince words. I'm sorry, it would just take too long to explain to him exactly what hero experience are, but it's not like all normal servants are crazy, right? Just normally berserkers. And some exceptions. No, normal servants go crazy too. In fact, insanity is more or less the hallmark of the entire Berserker class. Huh, I didn't know that. In that case, woman, I have orders for you and your companions, not including the young children. A hundred of my finest men are about to depart for this town in order to track down the monster's leader. I will not tell you to go with them. They are nothing more than a diversion, a detached force. Instead, your party will be, on the, will be the one to infiltrate the heart of the enemy's operation and kill their leader, this Archer of Inferno. Wait, what? Did I get that right? Because I thought I heard you telling us to go out on a monster hunt. <laughs> no, that can't be right. A great noble samurai asking for my help? I am not telling you to face their legions head on. You would do well to circle around them from the mountains and ambush on their leader from behind. This is not a request, woman. It is a command. Remember, I speak with the Shogunite's voice. My commands are their commands. Huh? W what? Huh, what's going on? I don't actually know. Hold it, hold it. No fair abusing your position like that. Not to mention, how are we supposed to take out Inferno if we don't even know for sure that she's there? Don't be a fool. Do you think we came here in response to reports from just last night? Shogunite spies have long been in place throughout Shimosa to verify the rumors of monsters in the area. According to these spies, a woman who appeared to be commanding these monsters was spotted among their ranks a short while ago. It all lines up with what you told me. And so, I am giving you another chance to battle this Archer of Inferno. No fair! Who do you think you are squeezing us for everything we know, keeping us in the dark, then calling all the shots? Simple. I am a samurai, and you are a mere vagrant. You're a nasty old man is what you are. You're even worse than Udon after it gets all soggy. Why Udon? 
Udon is the God's gift to mankind. It's one of my favorite foods, but it gets but if it gets soggy, it's ruined. I understand, Miss Samurai. I can't stand when a bowl of delicious udon gets soggy either. Gagooga. See, only and Tatsuke get it, right? But still, what are we going to do now? Citizens of this country can't refuse an order from the Shogunite, but what is your take on this vein? I mean, we don't really have a choice. We gotta go kill her. That's true. I'm not sure even I could have defeated Purgatory if I hadn't borrowed this katana. Samurai are only human after all, and in the sword mas Swordmaster's case, even a normal heroic spirit would have a hard time. So if it really is Inferno leading these monsters, I guess we have no choice but to go. I may not be much use in battle, but I will do what I can to help you cross the mountain pass. Mountain pass? Are we going mountain climbing now? You guys get to wait here. Aw, <laughs> oh, but okay. I like Otama's room. It smells like incense. Gaga. A march over the mountains, huh? It's going to be a long and exhausting walk, so I'll have to prepare lunch boxes, otherwise we might starve to death. That's true. One cannot fight on an empty stomach. I shall have rice balls prepared for you to take along. Now, let's see. Are you there, Donzo? I'm here, Lord Tajima no Kami. Wow, that lady just came out of the shadows. That's amazing. How did she do that? Wow, she's cute. I have to give old man Tajima this. He's got good taste. This is the spy who saw the woman leading the monsters. She will serve as your guide. Is that clear, Donzo? As you wish, my lord. So you're a lady ninja. I guess that makes you a Kornochi? There probably aren't many of you out there, huh? You must be amazing if you're acting as a scout for the Shogunite. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, Donzo, was it? That name seems vaguely familiar. Yes, my name is Donzo. I shall take you to where... I shall take you to... Take you where you need to go as my lord commands. Fuma, you doing okay over there, boy? No, it's nothing. She just bears a strong resemblance to someone I know. But I'm sure it's only a coincidence. I apologize for my rudeness. Really? She does? Yes, she does. Again, my apologies. Now then, Lady Musashi, Master, we should hurry. We must cross the mountain pass and take out the Archer of Inferno. Not bad. I like your spirit. Very well then. I am trusting you to handle the monster's leader. With no one to lead them, the monsters will pose no threat. Will pose no more threat than shadows and mist. My samurai will be able to handle them with ease. Now go forth and defeat this woman before she puts all Shimosa to the torch. I expect good news when you return. Well, I can already tell that we're going to be, uh... We're going to be following the same pattern that we have for all of the epics. Oh, hey! We've fought you a couple times before, or we've seen you a couple times. Cool, you're only literally going to find out who my name is right before you kill me. Oh, alright. At least that's how it seems to be going. Alright, what's in here? God, it went back to the fucking mobile version. How's it quicker just pull it up on my computer? Oh, whatever. I just need to pull up this one thing and then I can check the rest. Come on, come on. Load. Chapter 1, 2, 3. There we go, chapter four. Oh my god, fucking phones. Scroll fucking faster. Or throw an ad in my face, that works too. Five. There I think I'm in chapter six now. Oh, it's 
still five. Here we go, chapter six, for fuck's sake, come on. No battle, arrow two, arrow three. All right, all the big, tar all the big targets are fucking Lancers. All right, uh, we're not gonna use, uh, I wanna use Kaito, but it just doesn't make sense to use her. Actually, I have a great idea, too. Where is it? There it is. Got two more of these things. I can just limit break. It'll be even better. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? All right. These monsters are fairly slow moving. Uh, with the exception of the flying beasts, consequently, they are still quite some distance from Toke. If we hurry, we should be able to reach them before nightfall, even with a detour. So we're splitting up from this group of elite samurai, huh? If they're here to take out those monsters too, shouldn't they have come with us? Not to worry, they should arrive before us as they are meeting the enemy head on. Once they have engaged the enemy in battle, we will approach their leader from behind. Now I see, so he'd already thought that far ahead when he gave us our orders. Uh, with skills and smarts like his, it's no wonder that old man's such a big shot. Man, I wish I had a cushy government job with cuties waiting on me hand and foot. Lord Fuma, was it? Is something wrong? Surely I am not the first Konoichi you have ever met. Or perhaps it is because you have doubts about my name. I can only tell you that I am indeed Kaito Danzo. I apologize if I am not what you expect. But unfortunately, there is nothing I can do in that regard. No, it's not that. I'm the one who should be a, who should apologize. I don't doubt what you say at all, Lady Donzo. You must know the stories too, right? Kaito Donzo is the most famous ninja from the Age of War. I don't know much about the ninja world, but even I've heard of the flying Kaito and his exploits as master of puppets. What about you, Vane? Do you know her name? No, because I'm not Japanese. That is really rather embarrassing for a ninja. I never intended to stand out like this, so it feels rather odd. Still, the Age of War was quite some time ago, wasn't it? I also hadn't heard that you were still working as a spy for Lord Im... Oh, God, it's... Lemitsu? Emitsu? I, I still don't know if that's supposed to be an L or an I. I think it's supposed to be an I. So, Emitsu? Plus, you seem awfully young. If she's been alive this long. You're a puppet, aren't you? Yes, I am. I had no idea you knew. I can only pre presume you must have heard the truth of Kaito Danzo somewhere. I hesitated to share this fact myself because it is usually such a difficult thing to explain, but if there is no need to hide it, I would be glad to do so. Yes, I am indeed a puppet animated by machinery. I am over 100 years old. So you're a mechanical doll. That's right. Think of her as a kind of magecraft. It's certainly rare to see something like her in this time, but... She is on par with the magecraft used in the modern cl modern day. I believe there are a few puppet masters that exist in your time as well, aren't there, Master? Yeah, but good luck knowing their names unless you read the side material or other series of fate. Hell, the only one I know of is thanks to Strange Fake. And even then, that's not that character's first appearance. Actually, I stand corrected. I think they... subtly reference a puppet maker at the end of Heaven's Fill, because that's who they get to make the body for Shiro after the events of that story. I don't remember if they give him a name, and uh, again, unless you've actually read some of the other material and stuff like that, 
that reference to that character is very just like it's there and it's kind of like it expects you to know who it is already or to not give it much thought. In fact, there is a long history of mages controlling puppets with magecraft, although it isn't usually called magecraft in this era. Just so we're clear, Master, I can assure you that if nothing else, she is not a servant. I sense nothing to suggest she is. As such, I believe she truly is a person, or puppet from this time. You know, I'd argue about whether or not a puppet could become a servant, but... Fucking Mordred is technically a homunculus, and she's a servant, so... Go figure. Wow, mechanical Kanoichi? I've seen machines and ninja before, but never a machine ninja like this! On top of that, this combination turned out to be Kaito Danzo, a ninja is so famous, even I've heard about her. And on top of all that, she's super cute! That's what really matters. You're so slim with such slender legs. I bet other people tell you you look good in anything all the time, huh? No, I can't say they do. Please don't tease me, Lady Musashi. <laughs> Fuma reacted the same way. Do ninja just not care about being cute or something? No, we don't. And I am not cute. Ah, so you're a ninja too, Lord Fuma. I suspected as much from your demeanor. Yes, that's right. My full name is. On second thought, my true name would be confusing. You can just call me Kotaro. I am from the f uh, I mean, the Sagami province. I see. That's quite a coincidence. Some of my installed ninjutsu are from the Sagami clan as well. You don't remember me, do you? Pardon? What did you say? Never mind. Just forget I said that. Besides, I'm sensing something strange up ahead. Wow, now that's a servant for you. Even though you're not fully recovered, your instincts are still dead on. I'm sensing one, two, three... No, there are even more than that. They must have wandered off from their pack. They're clearly not acting as a unit. Alright, let's kill them. I agree. Donzo, I hate to ask, but would you mind helping? I don't know much about ninjutsu, but I'm sure you can hold your own in a fight, right? Absolutely. Part of my job is to ensure that you reach your destination safely. Kaito Donzo, activating combat mode. Objective, destroy hostile entities and resume expedition. Initiating combat. <laughs> 